So you see that pile of concrete in the back? Yeah. On that piece of property, they had tore a couple of houses down, so the guy gave us that concrete. So what we're doing is we're placing that in here. That's, that's a real fine gravel right there. Yeah. So the reason we're using that is, as Tim is coming in and stacking this, we're going on top of that with fines every couple of feet. So we're putting it so that that right there will bring it in and it will take all of the, um, it'll fill in all of the gaps. Also what he's taking in here is, we're taking that concrete and we're stacking that up on the outside of the walls and he's placing it in there with his, with his mini X that isn't in here right now. But he's taking his mini X, putting it on the sides so that we don't have a lot of pressure on these walls. So if we put all rock on here, we got a lot more pressure, which we core filled the walls anyway, which it would hold. But just as an added precaution, we're gonna use something bigger, something that's gonna stop that. And then we will fill that in all the way around. It just goes little by little. So all of the backfill that we're using in here is for free. So we was able to get him to donate that stuff to us. Basically, we just got to load it on a, on a dump truck, dump it right here. And literally do that. Yeah. So if we filled all this in with rock, I think we figured it was going to cost us closer to $40,000, $35,000 filled all in with rock. Building the foundation. A load of rock now is 800 bucks. A load of rock to fill it in is 800 bucks a load. 40 grand and, to fill this. I would say, I, th I think we was at a little bit over 30, 30 total lows to fill it in. So doing a house on a floodplain and you have a 500 year height limit, you have really have to equate for this. Well, no, I'm, I'm doing it like this because I don't want, I want concrete. 